All right, so my sophomore step up is uh, he's a slightly, I guess, more high profile guy than Jerome Ford. Um, I'm going to go James Cook. Um, on the year, he was running back 44 in, mm-hmm. in PPR. Um, so it's not like he was crazy high on anyone's end of year list or anything like that. But obviously, he was a guy that came along more towards the end of the year, right? right. I mean, that's kind of when he started to, to shine. So I took a little snippet there between weeks, I think, 13, 14, 15, 16, because he obviously didn't play 17, and I didn't have 18 stats. Um, and in that time frame, he, he was running back 16 overall in PPR. Just, show, just shows, you know, like what he's at least capable of kind of getting to. And that was sharing time with Devin Singletary. Mm-hmm. And Singletary's a free agent. You know, the only two... Uh, running backs that are on the books for next year currently are, are James Cook and Naheem Hines. Now, Hines has a buyout or has, a, has an out in his contract as well. So depending on how they view him, he might even be gone, and it might just be sure. James Cook and whomever else they bring the draft. in. Right. Um, so when you dig into his stats a bit, um, James Cook was way more efficient uh, than, uh, than Devin Singletary. 80 rushes, 462 yards for a 5.77 um, yards per carry average, two touchdowns against Singletary's 170 carries, 790, 4.64, and five touchdowns. And they both, they both catch pass as well. You know, um, uh, <clears throat> Cook has 31 targets, 19 receptions, 174 yards, and a touchdown. And, and uh, Singletary, 52 targets, 37 receptions, 177 yards, and a touchdown. When you start digging in a bit, though, it's they they run against very light boxes. I looked at that, and I was very surprised. Their average box is 6.29 for Singletary and 6.22. So that's less than seven players in the box at mm-hmm. all times. So... Even though James Cook isn't the biggest guy ever, he's not exactly going against these big stack boxes. Everyone's right. everyone's playing the pass. The bills are spreading out. Rightly right. so. Yep. And he also catches passes nicely. So even if he is the only guy left with Naeem Hines on the roster, I think he's got a very excellent chance of, A, operating between the tackles better than people think that he should be able to, mm-hmm. and also catching a ton of passes next year because that's just what this Bills offense does. That's what James Cook is good at. One of the greatest perks of joining the Nerd Herd is getting access to the Dynasty Nerds All-22 Film Library. You can save 15% off DynastyNerds.com and get access to the film room using the promo code FILM15. So I'm, I'm really going out on a limb and, and thinking that Singletary is going to be gone. I don't think Singletary's ever shown what they want in a running back. It seems like they're always kind of looking for another guy. They went out and, you know, traded for Naheem Hines. They, Mm -hmm. they drafted James cook this year. They got rid of Zach Moss, who was kind of a plotter in between the tackle type of guy. And now Singletary is coming up on the end of his contract. To me, this all kind of spells them turning the page They're them wanting to go with James cook. Yeah. And and it's not like they're flush with a bunch of money either to try to to try to bring in a guy. They're free agent. yeah. Yeah. They're, they're bottom of the like, middle middle to bottom of of where they have as far as cap projections next year and they invested a second round pick into him. right it's a I mean, second round draft he, pick. he's one of the highest drafted running backs of this class right. it was it's somewhat of a shock when he got selected where he did so there's he's got the the draft investment capital uh he's got the opportunity because you said devin singletary is going to go on if they believed in devin singletary they are not drafting james cook in the second round uh, for somebody who does somewhat, somewhat similar, even though Devin Singletary is a little probably better between the tackles. He's a little <clears throat> shorter and stouter, I would call him. I don't know that he operates better between the tackles. I really don't. I think James Cook is a little underrated there. And like I said. I think he has more power yes. than, yeah, than that's, James Cook. That's a better way to say it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't mind this buy at all. And I've never been the biggest James Cook guy. Uh, but but even I don't mind this. I think this is a good time to buy, capitalize on the upside. Because worst case scenario is they decide that they're going to dip into the draft pool and, and take another running back. That is the worst case scenario for, for James Cook. But the good news is I think he established himself enough this year that he would still maintain that third down role and he would still get used five, six times a game between the tackles as well. So I still think worst case scenario, we're going to see similar-ish usage to what we saw at the end of this year. Wide receiver 16, or running back 16 numbers. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Best case scenario, they don't take anybody, and he has most of the work. I don't think anybody at this point has all the work. Right. But he gets 60, 65% of the work to himself, and then that's a, an amazing, amazing buy. So 
if that happens, home run. But even worst case scenario, I think you still are. I still think it's a pretty safe buy. Snap yeah. Snap shares was another one I forgot to get to. Snap shares for Devin Singletary sixty seven percent and only twenty two point six. For, for Cook. So he has a lot of room to go up as far as snap shares and opportunity and stuff like that. So and I'm not as worried about them drafting a running back this year, spending a second last year on Cook. I can't imagine going back to back. And it, I mean, you could easily argue their bigger need is at wide receiver over yeah, running back. Right. No. So if they're going to go offense or true. I know they signed Dawson Knox to extensions to only a tight end, but you know, Stephon Diggs is a little bit older there. Gabe Davis kind of up in the areas, the early dynasty darling. You know, there's gonna be some really good value in the second round, early third round um, right. of this NFL draft. So they might be able to get this go receiver there over running back. So the running back they even do draft might not even be a threat to Cook, who has got the draft catapult in the second round. Yep. Uh, and this offense, like you said, without the stack box, that alone presents opportunity. Definitely for a player like him getting in the ball in the flat, short screens right there, uh, offers tremendous upside for a PPR running back. Could be the kind of guy if, if everything plays out. Could be a sneaky running back one next year. That, that low end running back one for James Cook uh, for your dynasty team. And right now, he's probably going to cost you a pretty high second is what I imagine. That's pretty close to probably where he got drafted at. So it's probably going to cost you anywhere from 2-1 to 2-5 for James Cook. So your best bet is going to be hoping that somebody falls in love with somebody in this class. Yep. And it's got to be somebody that falls in love that you don't love as well because let's face it. At two one, two two, two three, when you're on the clock, there's gonna be somebody that you're infatuated with. And yeah. There there will be, but there's all the, there's also like good opportunities to get a stack or something like that. Yeah. Depending on who's out there trying to get uh James Cook. So yeah. I, I do see multiple trades of a second and a third for James Cook. Um that's kind of the most common one. Then there's other ones that are players like DeAndre Hopkins, uh straight up for James Cook. So um, yeah, that's that. I think your range is pretty realistic. Um, this one's a 24 first, but he's also giving you get James Cook and a second. I like uh, that trade of Hopkins for Cook because it seems right away like, oh, DeAndre Hopkins, who's probably got another year or two left mm -hmm. in him, but Cook offers another two to three more years as well. Sure. Similar lifespan. What's harder to get? The running back or the receiver? 100%. It's the running backs, man. So, yeah, it's, it's a very interesting player. Maybe a guy like Calvin Ridley can get it done. Mm -hmm. A guy like DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, there's definitely an avenue. What's nice about him is he's obtainable. He like is he's obtainable. not the most obta unobtainable run running back. Now, and you can get him cheap. Now, who knows next year if all these guys clear out and it's just him, the price goes up. Yeah, it's going to be gargantuous. <laughs> exactly. And that's a dangerous animal. Yeah. <laughs> Very dangerous. Watch your step.